Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. In this video, we will see how to get rid of the any type when we are working with a context on the engine templates. Without any further delay, let's get started. In the previous video, we created the hash permission structural directive where it has two different properties they can read and can write. If we check the code again, these properties are exposed into this template by providing the context. If we mouse over, we can see that can read is Boolean, and the same goes with can write. This is of type Boolean. However, if we go to the app component HTML and we mouse over here, we see that this one is of type any. So how can we improve this? At first, let's start by creating a type. Here I will create an interface, export interface, and I will name it has permission context, no more than this, and this has two different properties. The first one is can read of type boolean, and then again can write of type boolean. So let's start using this context to see what we can get. I will start with a template ref, and I will replace the unknown with this context, and the same here, create embedded view again with this context. What we have gained is that if I try now to change this property with something else, of course I have a compilation error. However, if I go back to the app component HTML and mouse over, I still see that I have the type any. To improve this, we have to use the ng template context guard, which is a static property that declares the type of the template context. So let's do this here. This is going to be my static ng template context guard and accepts two arguments. The first argument is a directive, and we have to provide the class name of the directive, and then we need to provide the context, and the context is this, the interface that we have just created. And then we have to use the guard from TypeScript by saying that the context is this type. And we can simply have to return true. By having this, just this ng template context guard, which is a static one, if we now go to the app component HTML and we mouse over into the can read, we can see that this is Boolean. And the same goes here into the can write. Which is amazing, right? I would like to improve this even more. I would prefer, instead of having now the can read and can write, I would prefer to have the context of an implicit one. And I will explain why. So let's go and do the following. My implicit will have the can read and can write. And of course, now I have this compilation error. So I have to respect this interface. My implicit has the can read and can write. So let's now go back again to the app component HTML. Of course, here I have my errors. So let me delete everything. And now when I have to use the app has permissions, I simply have to provide just a variable name, whatever you name it. If I mouse over into the permissions, and since this is an implicit one, I can see that the context of the permissions is I can read of type boolean and can write of type boolean. So now if I replace the my can read with permissions dot can read and the same here permissions dot can write. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. Everything seems to work just fine. So we have just managed to get rid of the any type and declare the type on the ng template context. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.